Okay, let's get started. Hi, this is Anika, and I build um, WordPress sites, um, especially LMS sites. So I'm recording this video for this site um, that I have created with Nimberium. And we're going to check how it's exactly built. I'm going to show you the back end. And the, I'm also going to share um, the reason why it's built this way. Because um, in my experience with LMS, there's different ways that it needs to be built. You, you can't just use like Body Boss and all of those LMS sites. Because different programs needs different functionality and sometimes those um structured um tools may not work and that's one this website is actually one of those examples so we can't i'm not using any almas plugin in here um not using any forum um what the client want is um she just want to have the trainings um for her um, fitness program so let's just dive in i'm just gonna move my screen here hold on okay so let me just check what screen i'm sharing okay so it's in the incognito one so let me just go to that one so first is um this website, um, it's using a combination of uh, Memberium with Keep, and then it's using the Page Builder Elementor Pro, um, and then it's also using um, Jet Engine um, for the custom listing. And again, I'm going to show that to you. And what else? Originally, we were also trying to use. Um, I was thinking of using GamePress for video tracking, but um, we real we realized we don't need it for now. So I think those are just the three: them, Memberium, and then Elementor, and Jet Engine. So this is the view for members. So as you can see, I am logged in already, and um, this is how the program looks if you have access. So it's going to say um, access now button. But if you don't have access, then it's going to look like this with a lock icon. There's also some available workouts that the um, this client um, offer. So depending really on their access, they have different workouts activity some shop corner and then of course resources um, on the side we have this open and close navigation and then if you don't have access it's gonna look like um, with this one like a lock icon and then if, if you have access it's gonna look like um, an open one like this and then there's some workouts again if you don't have access like if the member has no access then it's gonna have this um, lock indicator same for resources so it's very clear which item they have access and which things that they at least see that it's available but they don't really have access for that one so that's um this is the view for um for the member um i'm also i'm also designing like a profile page for this but i'm still um thinking about that i'm also gonna build some weight tracker and i'm gonna i'm gonna actually record a video when i built that so that you could see my process but for now let's just continue and i'm gonna switch my view here um as an admin i think i'm already an admin okay 
so this is the admin side and let's just take a look at this so the design is purely elementor um no other add-ons really so let's just go to um dashboard and then let's go to the plugins so we have elementor and then we have gaming press but i think i'm actually gonna just remove this because we um i mean i decided not to just use it for now because they don't really need it um when you're building lmsi just because um it's available like you could track videos and so on does it mean that you also need to have it in your site um in this site they are not really worried about that they are more on having members check in their days that they have finished their days um training but for the videos um they haven't required to track those so we have again i'm heavily using um for customization the jet uh, um jet plugins in here so we have the jet blocks um jet elements um jet engine um jet menu I think I'm not using some of this like for the tabs and jet tricks, but I activated it when I was building it because I thought I'm going to need it, but I'm going to end up deactivating some of this. But for sure, I'm using the jet engine and the jet menu. And then we have Imberium. Um, we have some backup plugin, um, user switching because I did some testing. And then of course we have some word fence for security. Um, maybe after a um, few weeks, I'm going to turn off some of these plugins, like the user switching. Once I have, like, but once there's no question coming in from members, because sometimes right now they have some access issue because we migrated them from the old site to a new one. And um, we needed to handle that. So these are the plugins now for the team i'm just using the hello team from elementor because i'm um, not really i'm just i'm really into using the team builder by elementor so i'm not really using any specific one um like a paid one in here so let's just I'm gonna show you very quickly um, how I did some of the areas in him. So, example, um, when I showed you as an example here, so if they don't have access, it shows this lock um, button, right? But if they have access, it's showing this access now button. And then I could even, like, we could even go more fancy or custom than this but this one is very simple um you just need the button to be clear that it's locked and if they need to enroll um they need to go to the page where they could enroll so i'm gonna show you exactly how i did that um let me just switch to the admin side so we're using jet engines customization here so if we hover over edit with jet plugins i could see some program listing workout listing shop listing and resources listing so each of this box i created that in jet engine as a listing so um the way jet engine works is you could create some custom listing based on how you need it to but of course this on and off thing like lock when they don't have access and open if they they have i'm taking advantage of the membrane's short code and i'm going to show that to you so example here i'm going to go to membrane um membrane has any tag so i'm using this um short code 
So you can see it very clearly, but if I edit this, we could see the code here. I hope it's big enough. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, so in here I'm using some dynamic field from Jet Engine, but if we're just gonna focus on the short code, it says Memberium has any tag ID um percentage s that's actually like the value of this field and then show this elementor template which is this button and then so that i could style it because if i just put some plain text for me it's too boring else show um else show this template which is the lock button and then closing so if we check membrane's page this is the short code that I'm using. Memberium has any tag. And there's a bunch of explanation in here. But to make it simple, basically, I'm using this. Now, for the tag ID, it's actually a custom field that I um, I, I created um, inside the website. So, if example, if you're going to ask where this um, percentage um, S or modulo s um came from if we go to let's just say let's just say i'm gonna zoom out let's just say this 14 day fitness challenge if i visit that page and i edit this i'm still an admin side Okay, so that tag is coming from here. So, Memberium tag IDs. And I'm also... I'm also protecting the page with Memberium. So, what I'm doing is the page is properly protected um, with Memberium. And I'm showing excerpts. So, I'm not hiding the item if they don't have access instead i set that to show the excerpt and then that button because i could not right now i'm not sure um yet but i could not pull this data from jet engine so what i did is i just replicated that and i added that as a custom field here but basically that's the same tag id so what's happening is um since jet engine um since the listing is built inside jet engine um i'm grabbing that value of field that i set in here to say um if the login member has that tag then show this if they don't then show the lock button so that's how i made it dynamic and that's how i have taken advantage member you with this so it's it's really great um what else I'm just um so everything in here really is jet engine um post listing um the way again what i like about jet jet engine is you could build unique like unique for format based on how you need it to um you're not locked into a specific design and what's great about this setup is it's using memberium and memberium has lots of short codes i think that's really one of the advantage with using memberium because they offer this lots of short codes that gives you freedom of how exactly you need your website to look and it's not like um locking you into a certain format um because of this short codes um especially as you can see in the combination with elementor jet engine remember it's very powerful i could create lots of custom layout with this one there's even some examples in here so example if we visit this by the way i'm still an admin 14 day challenge this is my admin side and as you can see i have some track 
marks in here and again these are with jet engine um functionality so it's really great it's called data stores i'm gonna create i'm gonna create um separate video for that because it has lots of details really you have very lots of things that you could do in here. Um, let's just go to the members view so that you see how that check mark works so example here if i click um access now and then i have access to um day one And then let's say let's say i'm gonna mark this complete and then i'm gonna go back to my 14 day program and then now it's checked so that's the thing that i built with chat engine because of their data stores functionality you could um store this kind of data where they could mark things off um create some progress indicator so again with this combination you're not locked like example if you're using some lms plugin which is also great i um in my experience i use learn dash a lot um they also have this progress tracker um but you're kind of locked to where those indicators are gonna show but in here you're, you're really free like you could show it in here you could have it in the other sides and so on which is very like for me it's it's um very good in terms of gamification so yeah i think i'm gonna end the video right now and i'm gonna create another one for explaining like that data stores functionality and I'm also going to show you some listing that I built um, for other pages inside this website so that you have an idea. Like example, um, let's say I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to show you how I listed um, this trainings. So <clears throat> individually, these are not like you're building each box manually. It's like a post listing. Again, with Jet Engine's listing. So it's automated. Um, I mean, it's dynamic, which is great. And I'm going to show you how, exa how exactly I did that. Um, also in the resources page, like in here, um, I think it's all, um, I set this to only show which resources they have access to. Or I mean, I think it's it was when which re, um, program that resources is assigned, something like that. Again, I'm going to show that to you. So I hope this um, video um, gives you some idea that when building your e-learning site or LMS site, you don't need to just think about which um, LMS plugin you need to use or you could use because for me, I, I really believe that each program that my client has is unique based on their expertise. So I don't think um, everything must be like uniform. Just because the other program is doing this, that means, I mean, example, other program has this format that you saw. That means in your program, it's also going to work or that format it is also going to work for you. Um, I'm sure there's some different things that you want to do in your program based on how you'd like your members to go through it and based on how you think um, the program must be consumed it must be like consumed in that way so for me that's why that's why I really like Memberium because it gives you that flexibility because of their short code um, and then with now with jet engine it made it more like powerful so again i'm gonna record another video still about this site and i hope this helps if you have any question regarding um with the details or 
items that I showed earlier, you could comment that down below. And I'm gonna do my best to answer reply to your comments or questions. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.